not known. <laughs> I look good as shit. And I know some people are thinking, man, you are way too overdressed for a comedy competition. Understand something. I took two flights, came 300, 3,335 kilometers across a border, took a Lyft, a Uber, something you call a Marta, just to be here in Atlanta for the first time. So excuse me if I want to look good for y'all. And it's difficult when I travel because I'm a father. I have a son. And anybody in here with kids, you know that your child is the love of your life. And when I was catching my flight, we're holding hands, we're walking, and he looks up at me and he goes, hey, daddy, daddy, who is your bestest best friend? I'm like, damn, that's a deep question. <laughs> you ever think about that? Who's your bestest best friend? I was like, I don't know who my bestest best friend is. Who's your bestest best friend? And he looks up at me and he goes, me and you, daddy, me and you. Like, son, you're not even in my top five. Like, you're a terrible friend. You're a terrible friend. You don't drink. You don't drive. Shut up. You're not my friend. You're a dependent. Depe Look, if you're mad at me, get better friends. Because if your toddler's a best friend, you're weird. All right? That's just what it is. And I'm not a bad parent. I do good parent things. I took him to Chuck and Cheese, and then I got kicked out. All right? <laughs> It's not my fault. Because in Canada, Chuck and Cheese serves alcohol. You can't do that to me. Like... Chuck E. Cheese serves pints of beer and wine from a box because I'm classy, right? <laughs> and here's the thing, man. There's two demons inside of me. There's Sober Sterling and Drunk Sterling. Sober Sterling stands before you right now. Sober Sterling has a mortgage, car payments, cell phone bills, responsibility. Drunk Sterling has none of those things. But he has the access codes to my debit and credit cards. After six pints of beer, Chuck E. Cheese looks exactly like a nightclub. <laughs> My son's like, Daddy, when are we going home? I'm like, home? We shutting this motherfucker down. <laughs> I got so drunk, I was taking the Chuck E. Cheese tickets and making it rain on the other kids. Like, ah. <laughs> Who's your daddy now, little bitches? And then they threw me out because you can't call kids bitches in Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> and when I travel, here's the thing that you guys got to understand. I'm from Canada, northern Alberta, Edmonton. Here's the thing. I am all my white friends, only black friend. <laughs> and they will ask me, Sterling, do you ever experience prejudice or racism? I'm like, yeah, all the time. They're like, what? We never see it. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's because you're white. It's not directed at you. <laughs> You're never going to experience racism as a white person in Canada. <laughs> Unless you're a redhead for some reason. Why are white people so mean to redheads? Don't act like you know what I'm talking about. This is a line directly from your playbook. Um, I'm going to beat you like a redheaded stepchild. What the fuck is that about? What about this gingers have no souls? This is the meanest thing I ever heard. Let me tell you something. If you're a redhead and you're in the building tonight, I love you. You know why? Because I know that no redheads had anything to do with slavery. Because you can't be a redhead and be out in the sun that long looking after slaves. You can't do it. You can't do it. <laughs> you would have melted away. It would have been over. <laughs> And if you are a redhead and you're in the building tonight, I will stand with you in the fight to have them call you Ginger no more. Because if you take that word Ginger and you rearrange the letters, you'll find out how closely me and you are related. <laughs> Look at all the dumb people who didn't get a joke. Look at them. Look at them. Like, what the fuck did he just do? I came here for a comedy show. Now, what's a Dooku, motherfucker? I never liked you, Ginger Zoy, you oh. <laughs> So from now on, my pigmently challenged brothers and sisters in the building, let the world call you orange. Because if you take the word orange and you rearrange the letters, it'll spell a Negro. And that's why orange is the new black. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs>